for developers or platform engineers who want to try this today, where should they get started? I would just suggest to get started with the first V cluster on you know your local host laptop, right? Like literally just spin up Docker desktop, Minikube, uh, Kind, whatever is your favorite, uh, you know, local host cluster, and then uh, launch a V cluster, play around with it. Even if you want to um, use private nodes, one of the one of the interesting things, and my CTO does this all the time in in his demos, is to create a local host, you know, Docker desktop cluster, launch a V cluster on top, and then spin a uh, you know spin an EC2 instance up in AWS and join that EC2 VM into the local host cluster as a private node. That's really fascinating because your control plane runs locally, but you know your actual workloads. If you run something on this in, on this V cluster that has the private node attached, if you run something on this V cluster, it'll actually run in AWS in the end. Um, it doesn't run in EKS, but it runs on top of an EC2 node that is attached to your your private node V cluster. So there's some really exciting things you can you can do there. Um, and yeah, I would just encourage everybody to get started and, and play around with things. And if you want to test any of these, um, you know, features that may be behind, uh, uh, you know, the enterprise uh, paywall effectively, you can go to vcluster.cloud and spin up a, an enterprise trial, uh, which will give you access to all the enterprise features um, for a period of two weeks. So that's a great way to explore anything we're shipping uh, that's completely new if you want to just kind of play around with it. 